Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We're here back with Renegade Platinum last time. This person did not heal our Pokemon after she said she was, so instead of going back to heal up like we should have, they decided to go forward a little bit. Pokemon, so I have to try to battle some more Pokemon. Yeah, right there, she said she would heal them. Can't even surf. Gotta go around this way. We gotta battle these people again. Um, who do I want to lead with? I'll lead Venusaur. Gotta battle them. This time my Pokemon are fully healed. Meaning, yeah, we're going to be fine. We're okay. Um, Marley should actually heal our Pokemon like she promised. Uh, here comes Metagross and Nidoqueen. Um... I want to do actually go into Luxray predicting a Zen Headbutt. I know it's going to suck if Nidal Queen decides to Earth Power that slot, but I think it will be better for me because then Venusaur won't take any damage and I'll have Luxray here. Plus, we'll go ahead and... There's the Earth Power. Oh, that was on the Arcanine side. Okay. Uh, I hope Arcanine lives, actually. Arcanine's the best thing for that Metagross. Thank you, Pupper. Go, Pupper! Special Defense Drop. Flare Blitz, please take out that Metagross. I do not want Metagross sitting in my face. I don't want to see it. I want it gone. I'm going to live? Please tell me it gets burnt. So, this time, uh, these trainers go after Arcanine instead of going after me. I'm gonna actually, um, crunch. Sucker Punch Metagross. I get rid of that Metagross. Tell me, Starmie, you went for a Water type move. Don't. Or Psychic type. Don't tell me you clicked Thunder for some weird reason. Good, and they hit. That does my heart so good to see that. It does. Right here in the fields. All right, Nettle Queen's gone. I lied, Nettle Queen's still there. It lived with one HP somehow. I think Starmie should live that. Starmie does have good spadef. Here comes Blazik and Protak. Um. Wall charge on the. Actually, let's sucker punch. Nidal Queen, get rid of that thing. Help out our boy Starmie here. Alright, Starmie, you see that Blaziken? Either of your stab moves would. What? You picked the one thing that doesn't work for you. Oh, Starmie, come on! You had one job. Either of your stab moves would have worked fine. On both of those Pokemon. Why'd you pick Blizzard? It was like the one move. Hmm. Oh. Gosh, you have made a mistake. Army. Uh, we'll go Swampert here. Swampert should be fine against this Uh, Kangaskhan's out here. I sure do love my Kangaskhan's. Uh, let's Waterfall. Brave Bird into... Uh, oh, no. Army. It's gonna make it a little bit tougher for me. Crunch. We should live that. We should live a crunch. Waterfall should do the job, hopefully. Cross our fingers. The Blaziken is a huge threat. It's gone good. Gosh. Blaziken is so scary. Level 61, nice. I'm blue to colo. Um, what you got? Sceptile? Alright, so here is the plan. We're going to go Venusaur. I see a grass knot or an energy ball coming straight from that Ludicolo. <clears throat> Focus Blast, please hit that Kangaskhan. 
Tell me you clicked Kangas Palm. Thank you. Thank you. Enough. Hammer arm onto my friend over here. Oh, that's not the worst thing we actually lived. Except how I lived that. Uh, Venusaur is going to take this energy ball like it's nothing. I don't sludge bomb Ludicolo. Oh, you are having good luck now with that Focus Blast. I mean, personally, I would have risked it. I didn't risk it. I'm okay with that. Level 62. Wow, Venusaur is catching up to our Infernape. There's the Sludge Bomb onto the Ludicolo. It should take care of it, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. Ludicolo's got some sort of bulk. Look at the poison. Oh, yeah, and you got Zen Head, but I totally forgot about that. Should be fine though. Ludicolo is not the best physical attacker. Alright, so honestly, I see my little eyes. Blizzard, Ice Beam, something like that. Blizzard would hit both of our. We got dry skin. That is cool. Maybe that maybe that won't come handy. ludicolo is gone. Jinx isn't going to hit us with a water type move. There's a psychic. Okay, well, psychic would have done the trick too. I was thinking ice beam because I would have hit or blizzard because I would have hit both of us pretty bad. But all right, that's okay with me. Go ahead, energy ball the Jinx. A crit. Nice. It was nice. Ice beam. Okay, well, there's the ice beam. I knew it was there. I actually thought I'd see it earlier, but. Gardevoir's got this. Gardevoir's got this. Gardevoir, you see that? You're the prettier lady on this field. Okay. Alright, we defeated these two ace trainers that are kind of annoying. <clears throat> Please tell me you heal up my Pokemon, Harley. You have one job. There we go. What you should have done earlier would have saved us so much time. Alright, what am I doing? Like, why does Harley want anyway? One among the flowers. I can make it so much easier if I just battle them one at a time here. I think that would be so much easier. Let's do that. Make it unfair for this lady. Oh! Don't get your buddy to help. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do these two battles by myself. Yes, so. I'd much rather have battled double battle. I thought I thought Marley would still be helping me. Jeez, that did so much. Uh, let's energy ball instead. I was hoping for a poison, but yeah. poison been so nice with it using that shadow force. I'm gonna use shadow force again. This time I can actually heal up though. That's the good thing about the move synthesis. It's so helpful. It's gonna give me enough HP to survive this one so I can hit it with another energy ball. Yeah, see, Venusaur is actually really good. It's actually holding up. The crit. Thank you, Bennett. I enjoy getting critted. I really do. Let's go ahead, Mammoth Swine. Um, an Ice Shard will do the trick. Don't want this thing going into its shadow realm. An Ice Shard, get rid of this ghost. 
But yeah, I think it'd been so much better doing a double battle. Get more done quicker. Much easier with our friend helping us out. Oh, well, we'll, we'll take on these guys. Single-handed. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Why is Alakazam so bulky? Why does it take that so well? Alright, can we live that? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. We do? Ice Shard for the knockout. Good. Man. I do know one thing. Alakazam's like such a scary Pokemon in this Seriously, that's the thing about Alakazam. It's got good coverage move-wise. It's got really good special attack, really good speed. Giraffe Rig, you're not doing much. Let's crunch it. Giraffe Rig's not doing much. It's not doing much. I'll just crunch it's gone. Um, crunch. Unless, for some reason, it's also got the dark type in it. Good. It don't. Okay, good. Oh, it survived! Oh my gosh! I was hoping it didn't survive. Alright, but we should take that. Giraffe Rig's kind of underwhelming as a Pokemon. Sucker Punch to finish it off. Does she heal our Pokemon after, you know, this little single battle that we just had? Is that something she does? I hope so. But I'm not assuming because she might not. She does. Okay, well, I guess I gotta battle this person on my own. Because <clears throat> I assumed that we were going to battle together and have a two-on-one. Guess not. We're gonna do it this way. Alright, uh, Mr. Mime. Venusaur. I'm gonna sludge bomb. I like the green. I would like to poison this thing, actually. It's a little bit easier. It's gonna survive. Oh my gosh, it survived so well. Dang. Um, let's Luxray time crunch this thing. <coughs> oh, a switch! Oh, you're trying to play, trying to play strategically. I'm playing more strategically. You're playing chess, I'm playing 4D chess. I saw the future, I saw the Drift Blim come out. So I was like, well, I better go into my kitty cat. That thing looks like a ball of yarn. And my kitty cat after it. Well, that's 4D chess. Kitty cat, move it over, check me. Alright, we can take care of that Drifloom. Mr. Mime again. Um, I'll crunch the Mr. Mime. <clears throat> it's already got the light screen up. Can we take one of those, please? Three, please. Oh, jeez. That did so much. It just destroyed us. Um. Hmm. I could go Gardevoir and start Calm Mining, maybe. You got your Psychic Fairy? You got my Psychic Fairy. You got Filter. No wonder. Or that did that Sludge Bomb did so little. Go ahead and... Special attack boost up. Ice screen's gone. All right, dazzling gleam. You know, I'm going to try to boost up as much as I can. That'll be helpful. That ghost type's gone. Maybe that means we don't have to worry about ghost types. Oh, moon blast. I'm going to moon blast now. Don't want that thing to set up any more light screen. You just got a crit. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Gosh.
Alright, at least we're level 61 now. Look at that. What? So low. Yep, no, let's just stay in. We can heal up. Um... Almost out of moon milks. I need some more moon milks. Need some of that good stuff. Mmm, moon milk. Alright. Should be able to take a Zen. Oh, Zen headbutt. Well, this is a physical hit, no. Seem to have much that it can really do, though, so we'll just moon blast. Protect. We just moon blast next turn, anyway. Continuously hit Moonblast. No reason for us to call mine anymore. <clears throat> Even if it lives this, we just keep clicking Moonblast. It does live that, okay. Go for a Swagger. Swagger Protect is in Headbutt. Wow, got a weird moveset. Seriously has such a weird moveset. There, so thank you, Gardevoir. I'm gonna bar. Thank you. Good Gardevoir, you actually did something productive. Alright, so that means good experience. We can battle as a team again, right, Marley? Thank you, Marley. For always doing your duty. Ooh, a full restore. Yeah, it's helpful. Remember, we can't surf. Fights, because I would love to surf. Don't want to be stuck with two Pokemon attacking us at the same time. Grab a Dusk Stone. Might be able to sell it for good money. That person's got fighting types. So because of that, we're going to keep our beautiful, beautiful Gardevoir out here. That thing loves taking down fighting types. It loves to moon blast them. It loves to use Psychic. If someone... As a water type, we can energy ball it. Parasect. Alright. Oh, I got Venusaur out front first. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh well. It's okay. Um, who's lowest level right now? Mamoswine needs to level up. I'm gonna use it in this one because we got a black belt there. He's just waiting for me to make a bad move. I'm gonna help out my teammate by putting things to sleep. And we should live that, right? I mean, Arcanize. I don't know. I, I'm not living that. I'm not trying to live that. Um, if it does take out the Primate, at least I'll put the Parasite to sleep. Because remember, Grass types can put Grass types to sleep in this one. <clears throat> I guess good call. Parasect's not that much of a threat to us. Oh, we're gonna miss. Ouch! It bit me! Nothing. I think we're, we've got the right idea going after the other side. At least Sludge Bomb. Whatever it hits, it hits. Breloom. Please tell me Breloom does not have a stash. Doesn't want to spore anything to sleep. Okay, good. It's gone. A lot of Breloom's you see have a stash so they can put things... In. A lot of them also have a scarf. So they can... Yeah, good damage on that Parasect. Each life. <clears throat> Not doing much to us. Oh, jeez, you got Infernate, buddy. I've got one of those, too. Um, let's go ahead and go into Swampert. So I can take a possible um, Flare Blitz. Yeah. I called you. I called your next move. Alright, I want the Arcanine to take out that Parasect. Yeah, so that way Swampert's here to stay. Swampert is here to stay. 
We got a Quagsire now. Jeez Louise. Oh, we still have our Arcanine buddy here. Okay, um... Well, I'm gonna Rock Climb. Not really a reason... You are just showing me that you have Grass Knot just to show me that you do. Grass Knot would have clearly taken out Swampert. This guy's just wanted me to see, hey, look, I've got Grass Knot. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll keep that in mind. Um, please, lady, send out something to take out Infernape. I think is the bigger threat. All right. Hydro Pump that thing. I'll go ahead and switch into. Uh, I have. I'm going to Gardevoir. Need a. I need to go after Quagsire. Quagsire is kind of annoying. Iron Fist, as if it matters. I'd much have rather had Quagsire's ability, actually. Really would have. Guess I'll take Iron Fist. Yes, I will. I'm not going to complain. Uh, what are you going to do, Quagsire? Power again? Okay. <clears throat> we should take that. We should take that, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and energy ball that Quagsire. What are you doing? Did you hydro pump? Oh my gosh. My teammates are... Oh, oh my gosh. At least I took it out with one hit. You, I know for a fact you would have kept hitting Hydro Pump on that thing. You would have just continuously Hydro Pumped. Now I'm doing it. Now you can continuously Hydro Pump. Now you can do that. I'm going to Moonblast. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good play. Good play. I'm going to clap for you. Good play. What are you doing? <clears throat> like hydro pump on a Quagsire? Are we in Victory Road or what the world? I just read the text from the old guy. Ew. So we got bird Pokemon. Um, I think I still have Venusaur out front. I didn't know what we're facing. A Dragon Tamer. Oh boy. Maybe the Zatu will go after Venusaur. Well, that way um, Arcanine is free at destroying the other mod. Um, I'll go into Luxray though. Luxray actually seems like it'll do pretty good here. Intimidate doesn't really matter. Um, I think Dragonair might mostly be a special attacker. We'll find out, though. <laughs> we'll find out in a little bit if that thing's a special attacker or physical attacker. That two... Oh, jeez. That two survived? Special attacker. Um... Man, that two actually survived that, and that actually bites. Um, speaking of bite, let's go ahead and crunch Dragonair. Oh, I mean, Ice Fang Dragonair. Boom. Dragon Pulse, thank you. I think we should be able to take that fine. I'd much rather you not, you know, get rid of my Arcanine Pern. Heliper on the field. Raining. I'm going to get rid of that Pelipper. Get rid of that Pelipper. It is annoying, and I don't want it there. Dragonair's gone anyway, so... You just sent out your Pelipper in the face of a Luxray. Tell you why that was a bad mistake. You can just tell why. Bad mistake. Boom! Wild charge. Okay. 
take out that pellet for pretty nice. Mmm, tastes like chicken. And continues to fall. Um, we got Deli Bird. Deli Bird going to do? Give us a gift. Oh geez, I'm okay. I'm honestly worried more about that Salamence than I am the Deli Bird. Hopefully, my teammate. Please don't fall charge. Salamence. Hydro pump. You got Hydro Pump on your Salamence? Special Salamence. Okay. Hey. <clears throat> That's interesting to know. Nice beam on the Deli Bird. Is that going to be a problem? Oh. Actually took me out. Okay. Deli Bird's no slouch. Let's go ahead and send out Mammo. What does my teammate have? Army? Oh, serious? Blizzard. Calling it Blizzard's coming out. Um, let's Icicle Crash, though. Thank you, Blizzard. Boom. For actually doing your job. Something that probably goes down to that. No, it does not. <laughs> oh, I feel so good being on the opposite side. It really does. It feels so good being on the opposite the side of that. Okay, we want a hurricane. Get rid of that salamance. Let me put that thing out of its misery. Okay, well, what do you got? Yeah, Kingdra. Jeez. Ew. Got an Ice Shard, Kingdra. This got Swift Swim. This got Swift Swim. And it's raining. I'm gonna outspeed everything on my team. I have to hit it for Chip. I have to hope. I have to hope the Starmie is actually going to do the right thing and go after Kingdra. Kingdra is the big threat right now. Not Deli Bird. Kingdra. Deli Bird's not going to do much to you. Alright, well if you want to take out Deli Bird, go ahead. There's a ser there's seriously a Kingdra right there. Check the weather. Put your hand out. Oh, drops of water are falling from the sky. What does that mean? That means Kingdra's in its in its you know in its forte. Alright, Venusaur. You can do it. You can take a waterfall. I'm gonna go outrage. This is an outrage. I've got Gardevoir. A Gardevoir still. Okay. When it comes down to it, I'll just throw out Gardevoir. So little. All right, please send something out that can help us. Septile. Stay in. Keep hitting the partner's Pokemon. Why is everything level 65 now? Like, everything jumped in levels while I'm still trying to... Trying to get to where it was last time. <clears throat> All right, get rid of that Kingdra. Thank you. Kill up my Pokemon, please. Don't I uh, don't you have an I lost, okay. Um one now. This way, is that a dead end? Goes in circle. Seriously a maze is This is like a maze. this go? jeez. Oh. Seems like a circle it wants to warp back. Go this way. Oh, that's a dead end. That's like a complete dead end. Let's 
have to go all the way back up. Tagging or something? My little frame skip. Alright, so this is the correct way. This is such a long victory road. How long have we been in this? Arcanine and Venusaur. Okay, that's not the worst. I'm more worried about that Chimeco there, but I don't feel like Chimeco can take us out with one. Even though I still want to go with Luxury. <clears throat> Luxury is still really good against both of these Mon. No reason not to go Luxury. Clear Blitz. Hit that Chimeco, please. Oh, never mind. Hit the Dusclops, I guess. I'm gonna live that, you know. I kick. Oh, you're gonna go after the Arcanine instead of taking my bait. That'll punch. Oh. <laughs> well, they made the right call. Easily sucker punch the Dusclops. Should get rid of it, actually. Yeah, see, that's a good thing about having sucker punch. I can basically help my opponent by, you know, making sure she goes after the Pokemon that needs to be going after. So I can punch the one that's weakened. You can crunch or crunch the first time. So much better. Psychic. I can just um, sucker punch this thing too. Dusk Noir. You got Starmie? Why you got Starmie here, buddy? You know what type that Dusk Noir is? Crunch it. Hydro Pump. Yeah, go ahead. Hydro Pump the thing. Well, I mean, I guess it's okay, because it'll go down to that. And that lets me crunch the Dusk Noir. But I would have actually went after, like, doubled into the Dusk Noir. That's the bigger threat to the Starmie. Chomeco's not doing anything this time. Because Dusk Noir is doing it. Oh! Well, hello. I guess we'll double into the Frost Lass. Don't tell me that Starmie went after Dust Noir. Pokemon freeze in this. Easier. You know, because it's like... In this episode alone, we've already seen a freeze. Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Starmie's gone. Starmie's not living that one. Now, send out something that actually helps us. Oh, Sceptile. Okay, yeah, that helps us. Um, don't worry, I'll help you by sucker punching the Frost Lass. That's seriously the thing that could actually destroy Sceptile. Help me out. Don't worry, Marley. Now, go after that Dust Noir. Don't use a normal type move, like you're probably wanting to do. There you go. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Dust Noir should go down to that. Thank you. They lie. I think the other person has one more. Wobbuffet. Okay. Well, um, I would rather double into Sableye first. So that way we can hit Wobbuffet with special and physical attack, so we don't have to worry about being countered or mirror coded at the same time. But I see my opponent wants to go after Wobbuffet. I mean, I mean, I guess I see why you want to do that. It's sitting there making a face at you. So click counter, okay. Um, interesting theory that, that I've actually seen, and it does make sense. Um, Wobbuffet, if you notice, it's got eyes on its tail. There's like a, a fan theory that that's actually where the Wobbuffet is, and the face that you see on the blue part is actually a decoy. Basically a Mimikyu before Mimikyu was cool. 
Well, I look sure he did not want to take that to the face. I'll just send out something that's falling behind. Cause girl got something falling. Yeah, Mammoth Swine's falling behind. Mammoth Swine, go ahead and get some experience. The strength. I think it matters. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the fan theory. The tail is the actual wall buffet. The blue part is the decoy. Actually, a pretty cool theory. Thought I'd throw that out there while we're here facing down one of those dreaded Wabafits. Gosh, how far are we to the little area that we got to go? Um, I think we're getting closer to the end, but I want to make sure the episode is not too long, so we're going to actually end it right here at this spot. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.